Okay, y'all. Y'all gonna have to forgive me. I'm gonna record this on my phone because my laptop is tied up right now. And it's gonna be a while. And I don't think I'll have time in the morning to put this out. But this story just really, it's made me angry. I've, I've been in this situation and thank the Lord the officer did not have the same reaction. But this story just came out 12 hours ago. Arkansas woman suing police after pit maneuver flips her car going 60 miles an hour while she's pregnant. I'll come back up here to this video in a second. It says woman suing an Arkansas state police officer who she says negligently performed a pursuit intervention technique a pit maneuver that resulted in her car flipping over on the highway at 60 miles per hour in July of last year. Her name is Nicole Harper, who was pregnant at the time, was clocked doing 84 in a 70. That ain't that big, considering if it's on a 70, everybody's doing 75 and 80 on a regular. But anyway, like it says last summer according to the lawsuit within seconds of the arkansas state police officer rodney dunn turning on his patrol cruiser overhead lights harper pulled over to the right lane turned on her emergency blinkers and slowed down to 60 miles an hour which is according to the arkansas driving handbook that's what is supposed to be done per, uh, per their policies it says she was unable to safely stop her vehicle on the right or left shoulder due to concrete barriers and a reduced shoulder being on both sides of the road, leaving her with no room to safely pull over her car. Now, mind you, I watched the video before I read all this, and while I watched the video, my impression was it looks like she's trying to go for an exit to pull off. Dash cam video of the incident shows that about two minutes after turning on his lights, Dunn hits the pregnant mother's back left bumper, sending the car crashing into the concrete barrier and flipping it over. I thought it would be safer to wait until the next exit. Harper can be heard telling Dunn while upside down in the car. No, ma'am, you should pull over when law enforcement stops you, Dunn replied, as he tried to help Harper out of the vehicle we call that a pit maneuver when people flee from us that's what happens she said i wasn't fleeing dunn charged her with failure to yield to an emergency vehicle this is a screenshot that somebody took from where you can see where she has her emergency lights blinking right before he hits her car and then it talks about her attorney and the attorney saying that the pit maneuver was deadly force asking that an exit adding that the exit was just a mile away i saw that sign i did too right right before he hit her there's a sign that above her her vehicle above the highway that says exit one mile and it says the concrete barriers ended about 20 seconds down the road she wants policy change. She thinks they should look at the policies around pit maneuvers and reevaluate the use of them. I agree. This was done. What was done is ridiculous. It's extremely dangerous what was done. Norwood said that Harper has some lasting anxiety from the experience. Well, I don't blame her. And broke down in tears when she saw the video for the first time recently. I'm upset and I don't even know these people. What do I need to do in the future? Do I just stop in the middle of the road? Do I just l lock it up and slam on the brakes in the middle of the road? No matter where I am, no matter what. Norwood said of Harper's thinking, What if I'm on a bridge? Because the officer said in, in no uncertain terms in the video, It doesn't matter where you are, just stop. Harper also contests that she did exactly what she learned to do in the driver's education when being stopped by a police officer. 
pull over to the right side of the road. Activate your turn signal or emergency flashers to indicate to the officer that you are seeking a safe place to stop, per the Arkansas Driver License Study Guide. And of course, the Arkansas State Police did not return multiple requests for comment on Wednesday. And then they give statistics about how this is something that they've been doing a lot in the last few years. And people actually dying from this. She was very lucky. So let's go and look at this video. Now this video, I'm, uh, it's, it's in like an hour long. But I'm just going to roll it to the part where the incident takes place. There's no sound at first. Let's get back to brunching instead of late night munching. I didn't have a commercial on my laptop when I looked at it. Hopefully my little finger will be able to move this indicator over so we don't have to sit the first couple of sec minutes. I want y'all to see where he actually first. All right, I'll leave it there. That's pretty close. And you'll be able to see he turns his lights on before she even passes him. Because she's going to pass him on the left. See? Now, she puts her turn signal. Then she's going to the right. She turns on her hazard lights here in a second. blind and all my stuff and I can see it. Now that's not her speeding up and down. That's the officer. was on the whole time so you'll be able to hear even when he gets out of the vehicle their conversation. Got the number three line shut down. Come out this way, right here. 
don't care what I'm saying to you. I, I didn't think this was enough room for you to come up beside my car and for you to be safe, honestly. Well, I get that, but this is what we do, okay? We make stops here every day, every night, 24-7 on these interstates, okay, or U.S. highways in this case, okay? Stay right here. I'm going to get the medics across here, okay? Come on over here. Come on, come on, come on. She's the only one in there.
Okay, I'm going to go ahead and end it here. I'm sure you can Google it to watch the entire thing. But still, that was excessive use of what is called deadly force.